welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on a wig that I bought off of Beauty Nook. And just a little um, info on Beauty Nook, if you wear wigs or you want to start to wear wigs, you're having some hair loss, or even if you aren't, please check them out. They have an app you can download on Android or Apple. And they also have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and you can also find them on Facebook. And they have a group. It's called Beauty Nook Wig Support. I'll link all that below if you'd like to find them. Um, but I bought this wig. It's by Aesthetica, and it is called Orchid in the color Silver Sun Rooted. And Silver Sun Rooted is an ice blonde dusted with a soft sand with some golden brown roots. It's a very pretty wig. So I just kind of wanted to share it with you. I've actually worn it a few times. I feel like um, I do a disservice to you if I don't wear the wig before I tell you about it. So I wanted to wear it um, a little bit. And I've had this wig actually for quite a while. Um, so this is what the box looks like. Aesthetica Designs, Orchid, Silver Sun Rooted. Um, well, it's actually Silver Sun RT8 because the 8 is the root color. It's like a golden, kind of like a goldeny brown color um so this is what you get in the box you get a card that looks like this now this wig and i'll show it to you here it is a lace front and it has a lace part so here's the lace front right here and then right here is your lace parting there this area right here there might be a little permatease in there but very little i think on orchid and then this is the inside of the cap on Orchid. It has these really nice um, ear tabs that are lined and they're very thin. So if you like a thin ear tab and there is some metal stays in there. And then there's a little bit of an extended nape right here and hook adjusters. And that's what the cap looks like. It's very comfortable and these open wefts let the air flow through. So it's, it makes it even more comfortable and you know, if you're in the summertime and you need some air flowing through there, that's a great thing. And so this is where the lace parting is. This is the lace front. And let me show you, if I can, the color. Hopefully it'll come across. Again, this is Silver Sun RT8. So you can see it has kind of like a soft, very well blended root right there. And then I would call this like a icy platinum, almost grayish kind of blonde. And it's just kind of dusted with like a soft sand throughout it, but it's very, very lightly, very well done. And she is very, very long. And there, there's just these beautiful, free-flowing, gorgeous waves, face framing. There's some face framing layers in her. And so let's just talk about um, her length. Uh, her length, the bangs, they are nine inches. Her sides are 10, the crown is 12 inches long, and then the nape on the inside here is 13 inches long, and this wig weighs 4.66 ounces. So, let's just try her on. If you want to know what I'm wearing right now, this is um, Marion by John Renault and Palm Springs Blonde. This is probably one of my favorite colors. I wear this wig to work every day. Um, I've actually kind of straightened her out a little bit with some steam. I'll maybe show you how to do that on a video, but first I want to show you what this looks like on. So let me take this off, and I've actually had this on all day. I was at work, so my cap, I, I use these wig grip caps. They seem to stay on better for me. Um, there's like a cap in the back here, and I just put some of my hair up in here. Actually, I probably should adjust it a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just like a wig grip. It's just like a wig grip, bleh, I can't talk today, a wig grip with an attached cap on it. So let me put this back on and see if I can get it to fit a little bit better for this wig because it was kind of falling off a little bit. There we go. So let's push it back a little bit. Okay. Now, if you have trouble getting your wig grip to stay on, sometimes what I'll do is I'll spray a little bit of hairspray underneath the, um, the wig grip and it kind of sticks to my bio hair. If you have any bio hair, if you don't have bio hair, you could probably still do that or use a little bit of it stays under there and it helps it to stay uh, on your, you know, stick to your head better so it doesn't move around. Okay, so let's try this gal on. Again, this is Aesthetic as Orchid and Silver Sun RT8. Boom. 
so pretty. That just, that would just almost went too perfectly. Didn't it? Did it go too perfectly? So pretty. So pretty. Do you guys like this color? It is freaking amazing. I love it. Wow, look, I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of uh, oomph out of her there. Um, do I have a can? Yeah, I do have a comb here. Um, one thing I love about Aesthetica's wigs is I love their hairline. The hairline on Aesthetica wigs is probably some of the most natural hairlines I've ever seen, ever, besides like Belle Madame wigs. I love them too. But this is a great, like she just went right on, didn't she? Usually, sometimes that doesn't happen for me. <laughs> a lot of times, like usually about 99% of the time, I have to do something with the wig whether I have to steam the bangs out. And actually this could probably be steamed up a little bit right here, but as you can see on the hairline there, hopefully you can see it. It looks so natural on the hairline. It really looks amazing, really amazing. I love the face framing layers and they're just so free flowing and gorgeous, just beautiful. I love this wig so much. It reminds me a lot of, um, I shouldn't say it reminds me of this because they're two totally different wigs, but like Angelica by Noriko, how the, how it comes down and like flows out, except for the, you know, Angelica is a, um, just a basic cap. And if this has all the features of a great cap, um, but as you can see, like, it's just really a great hairline, really great hairline. And now her parting is over here, but you, you really could switch this around if you completely hate like a left side part. I actually am a left side part kind of gal, but I mean, you, you could really move her around if you wanted to. I am a left side, I'm a left side parter anyways, so that kind of stuff never bothers me. But if, if you just like, I love how the rooting is um, done on this too. It's very blended. It's blended really very well. Um, it's not like you know, um, obviously the root's going to look dark because th this hair is like a platinum blonde. You know, it's like a platinum, very light, almost grayish blonde. But I think it's really, really nice. I mean, the, me the, the metal stays are very comfortable and the ear tabs are very comfortable. Aesthetica caps fit me really well. It doesn't, they don't seem to ride up at all. I would um, maybe steam this up a little bit or... If you use Aesthetica products, they have a shape and hold, and they also have a revitalize and shine wig mist. So I would even just take a little bit of their uh, shape and hold wig spray and just kind of, you know, get that area out of your face or take your hands. You could rub them together and hold it, and it'll stay. Like if you get your hands warmed up really good, you just hold the hair where you want it to go. And do that maybe like four or five times and you'll you'll find you'll train it, it in into submission into where you want it to go so let's see if i can get a what do i want to say a picture of the whole wig i'm going to turn around so hopefully you guys can get a better look at what she looks like from all sides so here she is to the side really pretty lots of nice really pretty layers to her and i'll let me put the hair into the back here See if you can see the back. Really pretty, really beautiful, natural, very natural wig. Very pretty. Really like her. I this is my second orchid, maybe even my third. I, I love orchid. It's very pretty. Not a lot of permities in this one, but you get a, a real nice kind of height right here. But uh, I think it looks natural. I don't think it's like you know too much going on up there really pretty really really pretty so again if you the bang here is nine inches long and these sides are 10 the crowns 12 the nape in the back is 13 and then this weighs 4.66 ounces open cap there's the lace front lace part it's 100 percent hand tied lace front really pretty really natural looking very pretty for updos or, you know, uh, special occasions, any anything like that. Just really, really gorgeous wig. And also, um, you know, got a great deal from Beauty Nook. Um, they, they have the best deals out of every place I've ever bought wigs ever. They have Friday Night Lives. They're a whole lot of fun. They sometimes do clearance sales. 
you cannot beat their prices. So if you, you know, if you want a wig like this, I highly recommend that you download their app. Look up Beauty Nook on your um, Google Play Store or your iPods. I don't have an Apple, so I don't know how you guys all do that, but you, you know, your i is it called? They call it iStore. I don't even know what they call it. Apple Store. <laughs> I use Google Play, so I don't know. I've never been much of an Apple person. But um, definitely download their app. It's just a lot of fun to watch the lives and see what the wigs look like on, on somebody before you buy them. That's always helpful to me. So, But I will link all of that below. I'll link the group, the Facebook page. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram. Um, find them at the Beauty Nook look or the Beauty... I'll, I'll link it for you or I'll, maybe I'll put it on the screen somewhere for you. But I just want to show you this really pretty wig that I got. And I just think it's gorgeous and it was a great deal. Can't beat it. Perfect. Love it. Great hairline. I just, I think it's, I think it looks great. But thanks for watching guys and hope you're having a great day.